Welcome to Blustery South Leeds, one of the windiest uh, stadiums around. We're at Hunslet today. The Oldham League One road continues. Two wins out of two against the Hunslet side, who's won two out of three today. The latest step on the League One campaign is in Leeds today for the Ruffians. Here come Oldham. Third match of the Betfred League One season for the Ruffians and we're in Leeds. A windy, blustery South Leeds Stadium to take on the hosts. Hunslet, who, like Oldham, have won two games so far, albeit they've played three. Two wins, one defeat for the West Yorkshire side. And here they come. Led out by Jude Ferreira. And we will have a minute's silence before this one. To remember the former Hunslet player, Barry Lee. Please stand if you're able. So Oldham in the familiar colours go into a huddle. Been another good week of building at training under head coach Sean Long. A couple of big name absentees, both on the wings. No Ben O'Keefe, no Mo Moagoro. Mo's here. But he uh, suffered an ankle problem very early, actually, in the Rochdale game. Still managed a customary length of the field try. So two different wingers for Oldham today. Kian Tyra and Mackenzie Turner get an opportunity. And it's very, very windy down there. And I'm sure we'll see that as we go. Left foot from Danny Craven gets us underway. Oldham will play from right to left as we look on. The home side in their familiar royal green with... White and gold trim. Had a good run to the playoffs last year. I was actually here commentating on their playoff undoing when North Wales Crusaders came here and did a fantastic job on that dream run for Carl Forster's men. Oldham, the team to beat this year, and have started well, two wins out of two, up at Workington. And last time out, back at Boundary Park against the local rivals of Rochdale. Last tackle. Will we see the strength of the wind on this kick on the last? It's drilled into the wind, look at that, just holds up. Logan Astley watches it well. In those lime green boots and then he's forced backwards. So a good opening set from Hunslet. What a scalp it would be for them, what a message of intent if they could get the job done here today wildy's over it brings in his captain jordan turner just lost his footing i think it's pretty soft as well some waterlogged areas just off the pitch that you may see in front of the benches on the near side that was another big drive from the big man craig kopchak great return to the team last week from kopchak and farnworth who started the season so well as well a regular try scorer himself. This is the last.
for the Ruffians. It's in the hands of Kopchak, goes behind, finds the left boot of Craven, just pops it up in the air. Don't look comfortable here, Hunter. This could be anyone's. This could be a try in the corner, and Oldham have got the start. They dawdled under it. And Oldham have a four-pointer to lead. Hunslet hesitated, it was Goddard who was unable to make a decision. And Oldham have the start, four points to nil. Ellis kicks a beauty, and Oldham have a perfect start. Touchline conversion, a 6-0 early lead. So Tyrus try, Ellis's goal, Oldham's 6-0 lead. And it's the Oldham fans in fine voice you can hear. Barnworth's off again. Wildy. Kopchak with a head of steam. Last tackle, Wildy. Back with Craven left side. Goes for the same target. And this time he does act decisively, Alfie Goddard. First penalty of the game, given away by Oldham. So Hunslet with an opportunity to piggyback down the pitch. Holding on on uh, Kudangi Rana. And the hosts have a full set on halfway. Oh dear, was that a knock on? Ooh, referee said it's gone backwards. That seemed to be a little bit generous. First possession in Oldham territory for Hunslet. Gaylor. That one will go against Tonsler. Forward pass. Great vocal support once again for Oldham on their travels. As we have seen so far up at Workington in round one, the away cup fixtures at Barrow, at Swinton and at York too. Wildy to Jordan Turner. Jordan. 
Chapel out to Lawton, first touch of the ball. Oldham with the win behind them. Kopchak to Farnworth, the two prop forwards playing between themselves. Couple to go this set, Wildy. Craven, lovely little dummy or Turner. Well, he's given himself up there, which saves Oldham the penalty. He got stuck behind Danny Craven. Here he is, a little juggle. Needs to get the ball back to Wildy, well done. Astley, still the last little grubber kick through. It's a great pickup. this could work. Look at the toes. He's helped himself to number two, Kian Tyra. Oldham seemed trapped on the last. But Tyra pounced. And powered away. For his and Oldham second. Not the cleanest of connections, but they all count for Jamie Ellis. A scuffed kick through. Two from two from the kicking tee and a 12 0 Oldham lead. Tyra's done well, that'll be back to zero as well. Wildy, Kopchak, and then Chaplau. Penalty holder. Craven goes for a good touch. Third, big chance to attack the Hunslet line. It's been domination so far from Sean Long's men as Farnworth sets his team up right in front of the post. Wildy has options either side, comes back left, finds Craven, spins out of the onrushing tackle. I'm sure Wildy will sweep right this time. Chapel out. Spins towards the line, just short. Oldham within striking distance. Kopchak takes the contact and he's almost over. Wardle's lurking to the left, back we come to the right. Lovely short ball, but a forward pass. And Oldham for once come up dry and the score remains 12 points to nil.
Now well, a little bit of room for Hunslet to attack. Another stumble on this soft surface. Wardle's back in to thwart the danger. Alongside winger Tyra, who finds himself on a hat trick. Turner, great line speed. That's the last tackle, and Hunslet barely made it out of their own 40 here, and then they don't even get to play the ball because it's been fumbled on the last. And Oldham will regain possession in opposition territory. Wilde, Ellis, and then Astley. Ellis is the dummy half this time. Lawton attacking the line directly. Wilde wants a quick play here. Ellis to his right. Chaplow back inside him. Craven saw the tackle coming again, but he's caught. Referee might just want a little word here. Calm down, he says. Will do. Chaplow takes it on. Oldham's forwards dominating at the moment. Will do points. And then plays Ellis. No look pass to Lawton. Fans wanted a forward, not this time. It's the last. Will has a glance. He's got Kopchak with him. Kopchak. Showing the dummy going on his own and grounded, and Alden will turn the ball over just a couple of metres or so from the Hunslet. Sticks 12 0 to converted. Kian Tyra tries the difference. But Alden with a strong win behind them. Very, very dominant in the early exchanges here. Oh, Kopchak goes high, does he? No, it's legal, it's up off the shoulder, says the referee. He's got a far better view than I. Goddard in off the wing, met in kind by Wardle and Craven. They just cannot get out of their own territory into the wind at the moment, Hunslet. better from Hunslet offloading in the tackle it's the last though will they get a kick away this time drilling low for the corner just to relieve a bit of pressure that's a great kick oh it doesn't find touch very unfortunate but look where Ashley's gonna have to try and retrieve this from he's still going showing dummies eventually thinks better of the pass to his winger and Alden they're back inside their own ten thanks to that excellent kick on the last Craven, Farnworth again, right over the top. Last tackle. Where's Craven going to go? Spiral bomb, first of the game from Danny Craven. He's going to find the ground as well. What about the bounce? Trickles back three times behind Kudangirana. And one end of the field to the other from the Ruffians there. Another penalty against Oldham, second of the game.
just edged themselves back into the contest last few minutes, Hunslet. Opportunity to throw the ball around in Oldham territory for the first time. Attacking that right defensive edge. And then sliding back over. Craven and Wildey. In the tackle. Craven's taken a shot in the face there. Here come Hunslet. This is the last tackle. Last kick on the last was very useful indeed. They're going to go down and pop one up for Logan Astley. He's going to be in traffic here. Oh, he's claimed it well. And then gets taken out and Oldham have a penalty. So all that for nothing for Hunslet in the end. Wildy has Ellis, first receiver, back inside, oh, Farnworth took a big contact, off balance there. Wildy to Kopchak. Farnworth just says to Chaplow, go on, you have this one. Wildy. Kopchak seeing a lot of the ball. Reverse from Craven to bring in Wardle. Look at the strength on the charge. Last tackle. Craven's lurking left side for Wildy. Here he is. Pops another one up. Tyrus after it. He wants a hat trick. Well, he's claimed it well. There's the referee going to judge this. I think he's going to say drop out. It's a very efficient end to the set from Oldham. One end of the field to the other off the back of that penalty. And Hunslet now are dropping out, trailing as they are, 12 points to nil. Two key and Tyra tries. Off grubber kicks. The second, a real opportunist effort. And it seemed that Oldham were in a cul-de-sac. Tyra had different ideas. That's taken by Turner and then Chaplow. Brief interlude of sunshine at the South Leeds Stadium as Wilde feeds Craven. You just sense there's another score coming. Wilde, Ellis, Craven, little dummy, then brings in Astley looking for the step. No way through. Lawton finds himself hooker. Craven lurking. And he feeds Kopchak, spinning and pumping and powering. This is danger for Hunslet as Wildy brings in Astley. Oh, that's loose, unnecessarily loose. There were tackles to spare there, and the ball's gone to ground in the corner. Adam Lawton getting a bit excited. And Mackenzie Turner couldn't take it in, and Hunslet will have the ball back. as we pass the midway point of this first half. Oldham looking to go three wins out of three, two away from home at the start of the Betfred League One season. Very early stages. But Oldham could find themselves top of the pile after this one, depending on points. It's likely to change a fair bit with the weeks off that teams have got built in with there being an odd number of teams in this strange League One season. Hunslet with a spell of possession. Sean Long so far will be 
pretty satisfied with the defensive effort. This is another last tackle inside their own half on so it's a drill into the wind can't make any dent at all on this wind as Tyra brings it back on the full and gets a penalty for his side too Hunslet starting to get a little frustrated down there as the Oldham fans find their voice again Turner, Ellis and Farnworth. Wilde brings in Ellis and Kopchak, oh that's brilliant. Kopchak to Lawton who is striding clear, won't quite make it. How about that from the two big forwards? Six to go from here as Wilde waits. Surely an Oldham try is on the way, Turner. Jordan Turner, Tyra, hat-trick. Wonderful Oldham try, made by Kopchak's pass, Lawton's break. And then the patience of Jordan Turner to play Kian Tyra in for a first-half hat-trick. Jamie Ellis has another touchline attempt at goal. Kicking beautifully this season is Jamie Ellis. And it's an 18-0 Oldham lead. Three Tyra tries, three Ellis goals. Half trick try for number 27, Ian Tyra. Converted by number seven, Jamie Ellis. Gets the score for Huntlet nil, Oldham 18. What a first half hour for Kian Tyra. He spoke a lot during the build up this week about the absence of the two Oldham wingers, Agoro and O'Keefe. Look what has happened in their absence. First changes are imminent. You see Josh Johnson being readied. Jordan Turner. He might have been thinking about taking that last try himself. Just drew the defence and fed Tyra in. This is the last tackle. Wilde. Craven's going to be under pressure here. Just drills one down the touchline. Oh, he's let it go. Uh, good decision in the end from James Watson. Far too strong from Craven. We approach the half hour mark. And the home crowd has been pretty much silenced. Wildy 
He's carried backwards. Watson. He looks the most likely, you would say, the Hunslet fullback for the house. Well, that was a, a loose one. Excellent defensive work from Jordan Turner. Goddard feeding in field. Kopchak getting through the work again. You wonder whether he might be getting a rest shortly. It's a little dink over the top. Well taken by the man of the moment. Oh, it's going to be Farnworth, in fact, to get a, an early half-time, if you like. Farnworth comes off for a breather. He's had a great first half hour too. Now can Alden go the length of the field? Astley. Tyre is chasing this, he won't get there. Watson's got a, a big head start. Hunslet, by the way, readying a double change. It's like Cameron Berry and Toby Everett coming on. I think George Hurst has just been called back to the bench for Oldham. I would suggest Hurst's for Kopchak will be imminent. Sean Long freshening things up for the final 10 minutes of the half. 18-0 his side lead. Here come Hunslet, though. There is the new man, Toby Everett. Well, Turner wasn't even looking at that, so that should be Oldham Ball. And his back turned. There is the change. Hurst for Kopchak is indeed the interchange. Kopchak applauds the Oldham fans. Sitting with us high up in this main stand. Well, the only stand, in fact, here in Hunslet. It's a very open, windy rugby league arena with the athletics track around it. In a good view across the uh, city centre of Leeds. It was not a happy weekend for their football team. So promotion aspirations took a dent with defeat at Coventry. There's Lawton again. There goes Hurst. He was excellent. It was Hurst last week against Rochdale. He started well here. Wildy waits to play the ball. Hunslet readying their third interchange. Craven. Oh, Tyra. Every time the ball gets to him, there's anticipation. He's electric. Craven and Chaplow and Johnson. And we're going to be seeing Ted Chaplow shortly as well. Ellis almost fumbled. Manages to get himself free, and here goes Logan Astley. Kick and chase to himself. Well read in off his wing. Alfie Goddard had to be alert. the Oldham support but it's really impressive really terrific great noise and the players saying to me a lot every week how much it means so I hope you can uh, join the Ruffians traveling army and see us at Boundary Park as well 
Cornwall at home next. There's a drill into the touch. Hunslet just need a breather early every time. Big season this for this rugby league club, and it's great to have so many fans coming back on board. Ted Chapelow is waiting to be introduced for the final few moments of the first half. I think he's just waiting to get his brother's attention. And that's the change. Very professional, efficient first 40 for Oldham. And they're not done yet. 18 0 is the lead. With Will demounting another attack. Brings in Craven. Change of direction from JJ. This is the last. So Wilde gets out of the way. Wardle comes to this near side. Craven overrun it here. Puts a kick straight into touch. Well, that's one that didn't work for Oldham. Chucking the ball around on the last, I think it was just a misread. And Craven, before he knew what was happening, found himself in a tackle and had to try and judge a kick into the corner and didn't quite get the maths right. Huge hit, forcing the error, how about that? Joe Wardle timed that to perfection. That was a huge play. Can Oldham strike again before the half-time hooter, Ellis. Matty Wilde absolutely barking instructions behind the rook here. Chaplow wants it right side. And he gets it. Let Wilde know exactly where he was going. Johnson waiting left, Lawton right for Wilde here. Goes behind them both to Ellis. Craven attacking the line with Astley. Here he is, Tyree wants a fourth. He's going to get one. What a step, what a finish. What a performance. Kieran Tyra, four first half tries. He has the Midas touch. Cannot miss right now.
Now, can Ellis keep his perfect record intact? And they've all been difficult. Four tries from the left winger. Four left wing efforts at goal. Three have landed. Oh, he can't miss. Tell you what, Kian Tyre and Jamie Ellis should go to a casino tonight because everything is coming off for them. Holden and Kian Tyra get their fourth try. Again, converted by number seven, Jamie Ellis. Takes the score with nil, Holden, 24. Well, we do a, a popular man of the match vote online after every Holden game. We could probably put the poll up now. What a performance. He's barely had four chances to score four tries. I'd say he's had three, three and a half. Hurst. Penalty Holden. Is there one more before the break? Ellis. Chaplow. I think Oldham fancy a fifth. Look at Astley buzzing around. Here he is. Step from Logan Astley, trying to weave his way through the traffic. Will Wildy go on his own? He's done that a couple of times this year. Feeds Chaplow. Short ball to JJ. Puts himself in reverse, but his progress is halted. It's Wildy behind Wardle to Ellis. Oh, JT almost went for the magician's juggle, but Huntsler have the ball back. I was going to say it's been a near perfect first 40. I think the one thing Sean Long will be frustrated with is the, the penalty count. What's that four now against Oldham? Fairly needless, I think you would admit as well. And Oldham are going to be playing into this fierce wind second half. So this one is not done and dusted just yet. Oldham in. Firm control as the half-time whistle is blown by the referee. But the job is still to be done. 24-0 at half-time. Four tries from the electrifying winger Kian Tyra. Four inch-perfect goals from the informed Jamie Ellis. And the Ruffians have a big lead. Half-time, Hunslet nil. Oldham 24. Second half poised. Oldham were out a couple of minutes early for the second half. After a dominant first 40. And eventually they are joined by the hosts, Hunslet. 24 nil. At the break. And it will be Hunslet to get us underway at the start of this second half. We just need a match ball. Four tries for Kian Tyra, the difference. Four goals from the boot of Jamie Ellis.
And here we go. Playing into this strong wind. Second half. Let's just see how much of a difference that will make. So the pack is Ted Chaplow and George Hurst with Farnworth Kopchak and Jay Chaplow off the field. Last tackle, Oldham, on the Hunslet 40. Will defines Craven just to drill one into touch. I think we're going to see Oldham play the conditions this second half. Just try and preserve this advantage as best as possible. Penalty, another one. I did mention first half, that will be the one concern for Sean Long, the number of penalties given away by his team. And that's the first one. Seconds into the second half. And Hunslet find a good touch. And they're going to get a good go at the Oldham line here. Full set from inside Oldham territory. Referee will play on from there, went back. Oldham almost regathering with Chaplow and Wildey. Referee says, let's just get on with it. And Hunslow almost right over the top. This is more like it for the house. Up the middle they go. Oh, a lovely little flick on from Watson. Well dealt with by Mackenzie Turner. So high one on the last. Astley's starting position is good. And Hunslet were offside in front of the kicker. So Oldham will get a piggyback down the pitch here. Hunslet are Going to lose a forward to injury by the looks of it here as well. Another interchange is going to be enforced. As Craven finds a fairly narrow touch. Looks like Michael Knowles is going to be coming back on in the skull cap, wearing 13. So 24 0 at the break with Oldham in possession with Ellis and then Johnson. Hurst. Wildy. Chaplow. Ellis juggles and gives it to Lawton, who's lost the ball. Two in the tackle, says the referee. Penalty. Both sides. Penalty counts going up. As Phoenix Lolu Tonganga A goes for a little jog. I wonder when we'll see PLT. Super League experience, the youngster. Handful of games for Hull KR. Craven again, a narrow touch. Obviously, very aware of the wind. Not, get, not left, leaving anything to chance. Back underway with Chaplow off the pass from Ellis. Oldham with their first look at the line this second half. Wildy, Johnson, or oh, Hurst didn't expect that, and he just very fortuitously took it in his stride. Wildy, Chaplow with a bit of room to get the legs going. The post wobbling in this wind. 
Ellis. Craven. Delayed and delayed and eventually wrapped up. Couple to go. Well, they're all tangled up there, Wilde. Short ball. Hunslet alive to the danger. This is the last. Wilde's had a look back left. Hunslet read it well, but it's worked brilliantly to turn. Ah, oh, five. Five tries. Turner made that one again. And Kian Tyra hugging his touchline. Has a fifth. He can barely believe it. Well, that link-up play between Turner and Tyra has been excellent all afternoon. And you just wonder how many he's going to end up with here. And here comes PLT. He's going to get his chance. Sean Long said to me before the game that he will be used at full-back. So let's see who's coming off here. I mean, any of the remainder of the spine can interchange really so it could still be Matty Wildey coming off here let's just have a look Wildey normally gets a breather at some point in the second half I guess Craven or Ellis or Ashley could all play there anyway can Ellis keep his 100% record going? No, that's the difference in the wind. Into the wind this time, and Ellis has missed one. It's a four from five, and a 28 0 lead. Well, it's going to be Jamie Ellis coming off. So Ellis gets a break. Don't often see that. So Logan Ashley will probably come into the halves. And we get our first look at Phoenix Lolu Tonganga. And already joining the line, Turner. Oh, he's had a great game, Turner. He set Wardle free. You know, he could be in for six if he goes outside. Tyra's away. He is going to score again. It's a sixth try. A double hat-trick. It's extraordinary. Well, it was almost though they wanted him to score again because there was a pass inside which would have gone under the post. But they opted again to bring in Tyra, knowing he had the toes to finish. But Turner has been immense playing inside the winger. Kian Tyra will get all the plaudits, all the headlines for these six tries, but Turner's been immense too. It's going to be Craven over the kicking tee with Ellis off the pitch. Left footer. That's hung awfully in the wind. But it's got over. Perfectly judged. Like a golfer off the tee. Read the wind perfectly. And Oldham have a 34 nil lead.
Well, I did say you wonder how many he is going to end up with here. He's got half an hour to add to six. And the record is ten. He's going to be flying to the top of the try charts anyway. And the bad news for Huntsler is that Craig Kopchak's coming back on. Even the stadium announcer now sounds subdued. Almost apologetically giving the scoreline to the uh, South Leeds Stadium as Oldham handed another penalty. Another strong carry. That was great work from George Hurst. Wardle takes it on. Oldham knocking at the door. They want another one here. The ruffians at the moment are going top of the table. Chaplow straightening up, going straight towards the post. And he's just short. Wildy. Wildy on his own, spinning. Craven, beautiful short pass, can Lawton stretch over? Of course he can. With that giant wingspan, Lawton adds try number seven and Oldham now running riot. Seventh try of the game, the first to be scored by anyone other than Kian Tyra. And Kopchak is back. Josh Johnson is off. Craven to add two more. Slams it through the middle. And it's a 40 points to nil Oldham lead. Well, I asked what difference the change of ends and the change of wind would make at the moment. The answer is absolutely none. If anything, Oldham's scoring rate has accelerated into the wind. Here goes PLT. Oh, he just overrun it, Craven. Well, that's what Phoenix can do, attacking the line, offloading through the tackle. Didn't quite land this time. And Hunslet will breathe a big sigh of relief, they get the ball back on halfway. A rare Hunslet attack. Everett. 
Whitmore back up the middle. That's Ethan O'Hanlon. We've got a good look at the line here on the last. They're going right, threading one through. They might get a repeat set here now. Too deep, too heavy. Kian Tyra goes to rescue the ball over the running track. He might want to stay on the running track, the speed he's shown this afternoon. Craven, 360, wrapped up. Wilde, Hurst, Lawton, that should be six more. Referee has seen the touch. Will he play on from this, though? I think he will. Kopchak's picked it up. Wardle. It's with Matty Wildey. Craven. Brings in Logan Astley. Oh, lovely from Lawton. PLT now. Little handoff. This is good. Mackenzie Turner. PLT's inside him. PLT's away. First Oldham try. For Phoenix, Lolu Tonganga. It was beautiful quick hands. And that's Oldham at their very best. Craven for two more. 46 0 Oldham's lead. Eight tries, seven goals. And a first for the club for PLT. Goes Chaplow. Knock on. Uh, Unforced Oldham error. Opportunity Hunslet. Lawton went for a big shot, he got it, it's gone backwards though.
Can Oldham's defence keep Hunslet out? Oh, Tyra went for an intercept there. He's after a seventh try. There's Watson wrapped up. Last tackle. All the Hunslet cavalry lining up to this left side. Do they know it's the last? They're running at the post here. Well, there's disbelief in back play from the outside Hunslet backs. I think that was the breakdown in communication. He didn't know. He's saying, I didn't know. Well, he should be counting. Olden ball, 46 0, the Ruffieds lead. With 20 minutes to go. Wildy. Kopchak takes it on. Great understanding, those two. Last tackle. Craven to Wildy's left. Where's he going to go? High into the corner. Tyra's after it. Well claimed, Alfie Goddard. He was at fault for one of the, I think it was the first Tyra try, which seems a lifetime ago now. Hunsler making another change. Ross Whitmore returning. taken from Tyra. PLT. Well shackled this time, Wildy. Turner popping up in the middle of the park. Astley. Astley to Lawton. Three tries in his last two, Adam Lawton. Second against Rochdale is a cracker. Make sure you check that out on our uh, social media. Craven, Turner. Oh, he's got the ball away. He's in a seventh. He dabs it in field, not this time. First half chance that he hasn't taken. Kian Tyra. Turner fed him again. Must be a joy for a winger to play outside. The Oldham fans find their voice again. Just over a quarter of an hour remaining. How Sean Long would love to preserve that nil on the scoreboard next to Hunslet. Would be the first nilling of the campaign. Well, Hunslet may have other ideas. That's nice. Change of direction. Here goes James Watson. Great ankle tap. From Wardle, Hunslet still attacking the post. Last tackle. We're going to run it left side. Astley's flown out of the line. 
They've offloaded on the floor and Oldham will have it back. No end product at all, the hosts. They were heading for their second defeat of the season. It'll be played for 1-2, lost two for Hunslet. Oldham heading for three from three. And this guy's made a big difference and he's off again. PLT with a step. He is great to watch, isn't he? Now then, Turner. They're off again, those two. Turner looking around to find his mate outside him. Not this time. Eventually gets it to Tyra. Turner and Tyra just plotting their way through. You know, I think if Turner had a run in on a pose, he'd still be looking to pass it to Tyra this afternoon. Astley, there's going to be another one here. Attacking the corner, showing the dummy, spinning and scoring. <laughs> Wonderful try. Morgan's finish. And you could see it coming. And that is the half century. Craven for two more. Oh, that's sliced across the front of the post. It's a Craven's first miss, three from four. And it's around 50. 50 nil, Oldham's lead. Even the stadium staff are off their game for Hunslet this afternoon. Craven almost given the extra two, despite slicing it. Scoreline corrected to 50 nil, but Oldham want more. They're hungry this afternoon. Astley feeding Lawton, feeding Morgan. Nowhere for Mackenzie Turner to go. Just looking at PLT's positioning, every attack. He's up there playing centre forward every attack, wanting the ball. Kopchak. Craven over the top. Another penalty given away by Oldham. Shade over ten to go. Now then, back to back penalties. Well, this is, uh, it's, it's hard to pick fault in a 50-0 scoreline, but the penalty count won't have pleased Sean this afternoon. Hunslet going for the corner here. I'll be desperate to get on the scoreline. 
on the scoreboard, I beg your pardon. Craven flying out the line that time. This is more like it from Hunslet. Oh, great defensive effort. Hunslet again, look like they've lost their way here. Lawton completing the tackle. Hunslet within 10 of the Oldham line that they have not managed to breach this afternoon. They're right under the post though now. Oh, again, hesitation at the wrong moment. Last tackle. They're going to come left. So with the full-back Lawton, they're going to score in the corner. No, they're not. It's a forward pass. It was a walking try. And the referee says otherwise. It's a beautiful pass. And allowing the winger a stroll in, but the referee says that had gone forward. So Oldham's line does remain intact. Wildy, Kopchak, Lawton through the middle, Wildy to his left, Astley to his right. Logan Astley under the post. And Oldham strike again. Wonderful rugby league. Adam Lawton is just a monster through the middle. And no mistake from the boot. Was that Tyra converting as well? I think it was. So one kick at goal, six tries for Key and Tyra this afternoon. And Oldham are going top of the League One table. 56-0. Mid range kickoff. Oh, Phoenix wanted it, takes it. He's been chomping at the bit. Wildey, Farnworth, Craven, PLT, Tyra's off again. Astley back inside him, he's fed. Astley. Oh, he slipped and scored. Tyra sends Logan Astley in to score again. Second for Logan Astley. And Oldham have 60.
Tyra, two from two. So he set one up, kicked two, and scored six. Not a bad afternoon in South Leeds. And we've still got about five minutes for this to get worse for Hunslet. 62-0. Penalty given away by Hunslet. Cry of don't be stupid from the home crowd. Not sure who that was directed at. The referee, the Hunslet players. Last three and a half of an utterly dominant trip to West Yorkshire for Oldham. The nil is inside, and I'll tell you what, that will please. Sean Long more than the 62 here. Turner's put Tyra away again. He's kicking and chasing. Oh, he missed the hack through, otherwise he had a seventh. He's been in the zone. Those two over there, Turner and Tyra, magnificent. I think Lawton's been excellent as well. It's going to be a hard four-man shortlist for player of the match this afternoon. And the ball's come free and gone to ground. Oldham high five. The Ruffy had sensed the scoring is not complete. It's going to be about two minutes or so from the scrub. Sean Long's back down on the touchline. He will be more than happy with what he's seen. Wildy, Craven, Ashley outside him, he's on a hat-trick now. Morgan, a try scorer, but wrapped up there. PLT over it with Ashley waiting inside him. Wildy's second receiver, here he is, in traffic. Copped a high one. Referee says no. Oh, perhaps that's a 62-0 decision. Oh, and it's kicked off. And you know what? That's because no decision was given on the high shot. And it's all boiled over. All getting a bit messy, all a bit unnecessary, really, for a very well-tempered game. But Oldham, understandably unhappy that that shot was allowed to go unpunished. And that's what you get. Now the referee might have to make a decision or two. He's going to talk to his touch judge, I think, just to check if any further action needs to be taken. The two captains are called over as well. In fact, it's the fullback, Watson and Turner. High shot penalty. Well... You don't want to criticise the match officials, but had that been the decision that was taken immediately, I don't think anything else would have happened after it. Anyway, last minute or so, have Oldham got another score up their sleeve? 62-0. Farnworth. Craven floats one. Tyra, has he got a seventh? Oh, he loves a little kick. Again, trying to kick himself through. Could he have not gone for the corner there? Either way, the ball goes dead and Hunslet will get the ball back and that will probably be that. Another penalty. And a bit more after his frustration down there. Closing moments, though, 
of an 11 tries to nil. Oldham win to send Sean Longside top of Betfred League One. And there's the Hooter. Oldham win big on the road again. 11 tries to nil. The Ruffians are roaring. They are top of Betfred League One. Play three, one three. And Tyra is the star.